Hello everyone. In this work, we present a new self-supervised approach for estimating 3D poses of multiple persons from multiple camera views. The work is to be presented at CVPR 2024. The current state-of-the-art learning-based methods for multi-view, multi-person 3D pose estimation have achieved great success on public datasets in the past years. However, these methods are mostly fully supervised, relying on accurate 3D ground truth poses, which are typically generated using a dense camera system. In contrast, optimization-based methods focus on matching the 2D poses across views to infer 3D poses using 2D-3D triangulation. They do not rely on ground truth data, but their performance is relatively lower. To combine the advantages of both learning-based and optimization-based paradigms, we propose our method, self-pose 3D. Our self-pose 3D approach follows the learning by projection paradigm by projecting the bottleneck 3D output to each view and comparing it against the 2D labels. Specifically, we use an off-the-shelf 2D pose detector to obtain the 2D pseudo poses. Therefore, our approach does not require any 2D or 3D ground truth poses and uses only the multi-view input images from a calibrated camera setup. Now we will introduce the details of our methodology. Given multi-view input images, we duplicate them into two groups and apply two different affine augmentations respectively. For the first group of images, we pass them through the 3D pose estimation model, obtain the bottleneck 3D poses, project them to each 2D view, and then apply the second groups of fine augmentations to obtain the final 2D joints and heat maps. Similarly, we do the same to the second group of images. After we obtain the 2D outputs and 2D labels, we use the L1 joint loss with Hungarian matching and L2 heat map loss to train the model. We call the swapping process as the cross-affine view strategy, which can apply tighter geometric constraints to improve the model accuracy. Furthermore, to alleviate the intrinsic inaccuracy of the pseudo-labels, we propose an adaptive supervision attention mechanism to guide self-supervision. Specifically, we apply a lighter backbone to extract the attention heat map and then use the element-wise product to compute the weighted losses. We evaluate our method on the challenging CMU panoptic dataset. Compared to the state-of-the-art fully supervised methods, our method achieves parable performance on most indicators. However, the gap still exists on AP25. Here we show the ablation study of the loss functions. We find that using only the L1 joint loss will lead to model collapse, and the combination of both L1 joint loss and L2 heat map loss achieves the best performance. Then we show the ablation study of the adaptive supervision attention. The L1 loss attention is achieved by ignoring the one view with the largest loss. Both attentions can boost our model's performance dramatically. We also show the visualization of the attention heat maps. When there is an entire occlusion in the 2D image, the heat map tends to ignore the occluded person. When there is a partial occlusion, the heat map tends to infer the occluded joint locations. Therefore, the attention heat map can help our model focus on more reliable supervision signals. Lastly, we show the effect of the number of persons. We perform the video level test results on the panoptic dataset, as each video contains a different number of persons. As shown in the table, there is no strong correlation between the performance and the number of persons. On the other hand, the occlusion is still the key factor as the first video called EN5 is of a boy playing with a woman, but he is heavily occluded due to his height, leading to poorer performance. Now we will show our qualitative visualization results on the panoptic test set. Thank you for watching. 
and more details are available in our paper.